Angola says her campaign stands on three pillars that are vital for helping Namibians overcome economic hardships. The immediate relief for our families of 1,750 for every Namibian that is between the age of 18 and, and 59. Because our constitution is very clear that we cannot discriminate based on age, but every election, that every election cycle that we go in, political parties or the current governing administration campaigns on pension, which is a constitutional right, it is in the constitution of Namibia. And our constitution is clear that we cannot discriminate based on age. So if you want to talk about money in these elections, let's talk about money to every Namibian that so daily needs it. This comes with a proposal to increase the grant for orphans as well as financial reliefs for our widows. The second pillar is money for our local businesses and enterprise Namibia of 12, million, 12 billion in a 12 billion fund. Because our, our entrepreneurs, our business people cannot continue to trade on the pavements and in beach tents. The third pillar is immediate jobs through our ambitious goal of targeting interventions, of a targeted interventions that will create 500,000 jobs in the three years after I come into office. Angola says Namibia portrays a picture of economic turbulence, unemployment and income disparities, factors that serve to worsen citizens' living standards. Her cabinet, she says, will be made up of people with tested leadership capabilities and suggested that she would set up a team of 14 members from the National Assembly to discuss the national budget to be tabled on the 14th of April. The national budget will make provision for the immediate family relief of 1,750 and its deployment. We will also announce public finance savings measures, such as the restrictions which will be imposed, immediately imposed on international travels for all cabinet members, including the Office of the Presidency. For the first 360 days of my presidency, there will be nobody from the cabinet that will be traveling outside of the country. There's work that needs to be done in this country. There will be nobody traveling from the presidency. The presidency of Namibia is the president of Namibia, not the president of the world. As per Article 32G, I will, on the 7th of April, cause the establishment of Enterprise Namibia and announce to the Namibian public the head of this fund, which will be under the presidency. She says no subsistence and traveling allowance will be paid to any of the cabinet ministers or any staff members from the office of the presidency on official trips locally. Between the month of June and July, Angola says she would spend her time working extensively with cabinet on a full and detailed review of the actual effectiveness of the departments within the public service. Glimpsing even further on her envisioned future, Angola says she would spend the 100 days after this period reviewing local content on the oil and gas sector and on integrating the mining sector into a broader Namibian economy. For NBC News, Vanessa Njitaviwa, Ventuk.